try to listen to as many high school games as I can, but preferably like after the first game, we'll try to listen to the game we're going to because you want to know if they're close to halftime, if you have to kind of step on the gas a little bit. kind of want to get a sense for what's been going on in the game after you missed it. We always want to make sure that they're coming towards us, so we like to stand between the 30-yard line and uh, the goal line, and once they kind of get closer to the end zone, then we kind of go into the back of the end zone, and then we really get them coming in, uh, in front of us. When you've seen a play that you like or want to use as a highlight, write down the time that it occurred. And then when you get back to the station and you dump all your clips in and you say, hey, where, when, when did that touchdown happen? Okay, at 1437. And there's your clip. And so it makes things a whole lot easier, especially when you only have a half an hour to edit your game. As soon as I get back, which is uh, on a good night, 9.30, on a bad night, 10 o'clock, and so as soon as you get back, you put your clips that you've shot into the computer, and you check up on what scores have been called in. Get all that stuff taken care of, and you go over to the edit bay, and then take your notepad, and you start putting things together. Just uh, write the highlights out. Once that's taken care of, get dressed up, because we've been out with jeans and kind of gross in the mud, and you get your suit on, and put your makeup on. Greet the cheerleaders and get ready for the show. Coming up on Friday Night Fever, the Sheldon Irish keep their state title dreams alive as they snatch a win away from Lake Oswego. Lots of big plays in another big game in the 6A playoffs. We'll get to that game in just a bit. But first, hello! Hello!